Okay, so we're in Wildling here, uh, just about at the southern end of Sardinia on the east coast. And we're sailing in pretty light conditions today, so it's got to be a nice conditions to show how the um, hydro generator works. So basically I'll do a little video of how I've got it set up and um, so on. In these conditions it's blowing about six to eight knots um, and the boat's doing you know around about one knot less than the than the wind speed right now. So we're doing anywhere between five and seven knots right now. So that's not enough for this hydrogen to give us much charging. Um, so it's not going to do, really do much for us, but I can show you how it, how it sort of works. Okay, so basically, just on here on a bracket, um, at the back, and I'll just use this little line here to stop it from swinging around too much. Now when the seas get big, it swings around quite a bit on its own. Um, this actually is good, would be better to be a, a, a bungee cord, but I, I don't have any, so I'm just using this line. Um, it works okay. Take this off, and then um, it's got two positions up and down, and right now it's obviously in the up position. So this is the block and tackle that's going to pull it down into the water and lock it in place. And on the other end, this is the guy that pulls it up and locks it in place in the up position. So if you just take it off that little snap and let it fall into the water. Now you have to pull it into the lock position here. Or you hear it click and just lock this off. And now the hydro generator is generating. So Lindsay, why don't you just come down here and we can take a look at it. Let's see on this up there. There you go, yeah. So let's look at the different pieces, right? Um, so you've got your generator arm, which has got the turbine in underneath, and it just spins through the water as we go along. This is the racing version because this boat goes pretty fast. Um, it's designed to generate electricity at around about, I don't know, best is around 8 to 12, 8 to 12 knots of speed through the water. So. Um, you can get a cruising version for slower boats. Uh, if you use the cruising version on this boat, the turbine spins so far, the, um, the the turbine spins so fast they can get stripped out and damaged. So it's not very good. Uh, okay, so the there's two lines here. You go down. Um, this is a little connector that connects into this line here. It goes back inside the engine room, and this is a hydraulic fluid line. And basically, what it does is, depending on how much demand for energy there is and what the speed is it will vary the pitch of the propeller blades as, as it goes through the water using the hydraulic pressure and then this line is your charging voltage line which goes up into this connector here and that connects into the boat so basically what I found with this when we're when we're doing decent speeds um, through the water, you know, 10, we, we normally cruise around 9, 10, 11 knots most of the time. Um, this guy will put out, you know, somewhere between 15 and 20 amps at 24 volts DC, which is, which is really good. Um, so he does a lot. So between the solar panels that we have and the hydrogen, um, we pretty much can run the entire boat fairly much the whole time. We never have to really charge any other way. All right, so that's how it works. So we should pop back up there and we'll go and raise it back up again. It's a sunny day today. So we're pretty much fully charged on the, on the solar array, so I don't really need it. If I don't need it, I'm not gonna run it. So basically, to lift it back up again, it's the reverse procedure. Just gonna open the box, take the pressure off. And that will let this guy lift up. And then the nut locking off there. And I just do this up here just to keep it in place, you know. And then um, I'll put my
Yeah, 100. 